Hello everyone, welcome to our Elastic Community Channel and welcome to Elasticsearch 101. If you're looking to get started with Elasticsearch or the Elk Stack, you've come to the right place. This guide will be a straight to the point and hands-on approach to getting started with Elasticsearch. This will not be a comprehensive deep dive or try to replace our documentation, but rather a simple step-by-step -step example on how to get started. We'll cover the most important concepts you should be familiar with, the most common ways in which people use Elasticsearch with some peppered in best practices we've learned from our team, our field and our dev community. We'll cover some pitfalls to avoid, mistakes not to make and troubleshooting. So if you're studying for an interview or certification, onboarding Elasticsearch or your company or just building a hobby project, this guide is made for you. And if you're a more experienced Elasticsearch user, not to worry since our product is constantly evolving and people use it in different ways, I'm sure there will be a tip or two that you will also find useful. So stick around. With that out of the way, let's go over what we'll cover in this series. Since this is aimed for people with little to no experience with Elastic, we'll start with what is Elasticsearch? What's with the Elks? What can this technology do and what can it do for you? After that, we'll get into the how. With a lot of practical examples you can follow along to, we'll learn how to install and configure Elasticsearch index your data, start querying, you know, for search, and all the cool analytics that you can run once your data is in Elasticsearch. Once we have that foundation ready, we'll go to the next stage, and that is running Elasticsearch live. Once we wanna to go to production, there's some more concepts we should take a look at, such as capacity planning, security, high availability, and other things like that. And finally, we'll cover the day-to-day -day challenges of maintaining an Elasticsearch cluster from things like scalability, recovery, changing indexes, or more complex configurations, we'll cover everything along with some troubleshooting. By the end of this guide, you should be an Elasticsearch expert or at least well on your way. You can follow this entire guide in the written form in our docs and see all the examples and exercises we're going to run there. And if you have more specific questions, you can come over to our discuss forum where we will answer your questions. And that's it. I won't keep you anymore. Hope you enjoyed this series and let's get started with episode one.